Hello there, and thank you for taking the time today to learn a little bit more about rescuing leftover cuisine. My name is Haley Gilmore, and I am the operations manager for the Massachusetts and Rhode Island branches. I'm here today to tell you a little bit more about RLC, what we do, why we do it, how we do it, and how you can help. RLC began in 2013. We are a 501c3 nonprofit that redistributes excess food to people experiencing food insecurity. This means we work with three main community groups food donors, nonprofit recipients, and rescuers. Food donors can be any certified food distributor with excess food. Nonprofit recipients can be any community group that reaches out expressing need. And rescuers can be you. RLC staff is the connection between those groups to both develop and maintain relationships, create plans and systems to transport food, optimize routes, and ensure that the best practices are in place. It all begins with the first contact expressing either their need for food or the excess of it. We find the best match of food type to nonprofit, develop a schedule, then the rescuers take over from there. It's usually a pretty straightforward process once all the details are worked out. Now, it may be obvious to you why this work is important, but here are some statistics for you to hold on to. In the United States, 40% of food is wasted, which means it's either thrown away at the store or it never even makes it there, among other reasons. On the other hand, in Massachusetts alone in 2022, 1.8 million adults experience food insecurity. And lastly, according to the FarmLink Project, an organization that connects large-scale farmers with excess food to food banks, we have the ability to feed every person on the planet, yet every year, one-third of its food is going to waste and families are going hungry. So, your help is essential. And there are three main ways to be involved with rescuing leftover cuisine. You can be a paid rescuer, a volunteer rescuer, or a spread the word volunteer. Paid rescuers and volunteer rescuers do the same things. They go out and rescue that food. They go to the food donor, grab that food, bring it to the nonprofit. And then the spread of the word volunteer is a little bit different where we go out and hopes to find some more food donors. So we'll provide you with all the information and training for that as well. And you'll go out into your community and try to help us grow our community. Rescuing leftover cuisine is trying to remedy both problems faced in this. While we cannot solve the systemic issues at the root of this, we can make a difference in our local communities to both fight food waste and food insecurity. We are adding new food donors and recipients every day, so we need your help more than ever to ensure that we always have the human power to get food into the hands of those who need it. You can visit our website today, rescuingleftovercuisine.org, to sign up to help your community and you can pass it along to anyone who you think would like to help or needs help. Thank you for your time and please reach out with any questions.